Hi guys, Dave from Force 4 Golf here. Um, I had a competition this morning and as I was unable to take any footage, I thought I'd uh, do the first of what I hope would be a regular thing of a bit of a round review. Um, I'm going to use the stats that I collected on game golf. So the first par four um, at Sun City, um, I, I hit the line. I hit a pretty good shot, but just pulled it slightly left. I uh, wasn't in a great line. Uh, the best I could do was get greenside, but I managed to get on and just missed the return part so um, there's a bogey there and then on to so second hole um, the first of one of the occasions when I was ever so slightly unlucky today although I really didn't play well either um, hit it two iron into a pretty strong wind and uh, it actually stalled in the air and uh, ended up rolling up uh, behind uh, grass tree, which uh, those viewing from other parts of the world might want to Google what one of those is. Um, you're not going to get out from back uh, behind the back one of those. So I had to take uh, a penalty uh, or unplayable life basically, um, and then uh, because even coming backwards wasn't wasn't really an option. I was literally next to it. Um, didn't get good contact on that, and then the the, the subsequent approach shot I even left um, short. So um, it was just not confident swings um, and something I really need to, to pick up. Got up and uh, and then had uh, two putts on the green as well. So wasn't uh, I didn't score in that hole. It was seven um, once you include the penalty. So not one to uh, to uh, go over. Um, this one. So past three third. Uh, game golf always picks this up a little strange. So um, although the distance of that shows uh, only a hundred nine meter five iron, um, the tee box is actually more back here. Um, so yeah, hit a good shot again into pretty strong wind, and uh, it looked great. It looked like a really good shot, but um, just came up a little short. Putted, putted up. Uh, it's up quite a steep slope, um, and left it close enough to make, but just just slipped by the right hand side, so that was another bogey. Uh, fourth hole, uh, probably my most uh, most disliked hole at Sun City. Um, long par five, uh, this was all the way in the wind as well, um, and I hit, um, uh, to be fair, a slice, um, and uh, ended up uh, in a crop of rocks, um, which uh, basically made another unplayable lie. I mean, I could have played it, but I didn't think it was worth wrecking my clubs and or my wrist um, for, for the sake of that. So I uh, took a drop, um, hit, a, hit a really good four iron, um, and it just clipped the corner of this bunker, um, and then uh, dropped in there. Um, got out, um, left myself about, I'll say, uh, maybe 30-ish yeah, metres in, something like that and hit a really, really good um, chip shot, um, which left me a tap in. So uh, it was a six, um, uh, but, uh, yeah, once you include the penalty for that. Um, so yeah, in the end, not, not too bad. Uh, fifth hole, fifth hole straight away par four, um, and just just because I hadn't been hitting driver too well, it was pretty tight as well, and if, if, I'm, if I'm not feeling um, great and confident with driver, then I, I very rarely hit driver here. Um, hit a pretty good two iron, uh, but it was a little bit, um, uh, little bit slicey, and just ended up on the right hand side. I was a little bit blocked out, and all I really had was a shot um, under the trees. Um, caught that a little bit heavier than a, the, or a little bit better than I thought I would, and actually just run out of the fairway. Dust the chip into the bunker, but then got uh, had a great up and down from the actual bunker. So um, yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't a bad bogey in the end for that one. Um, so yeah, uh, a fair way on that one and a sand save. Uh, sixth, uh, second hardest hole on the course, um, and uh, I didn't so much play it like that actually. Um, I hit two iron, um, although you know I was typically getting fades on these. Um, and it is pretty tight up the right hand side, this doesn't show it, but it, it, it basically banks all the way around to this side um, and uh, it, you know, it really, really requires a draw shot. Um, hit a great two iron, um, don't know what the distance is, so 230 metres, a really you know, straight shot I hit all day um, and it just ran and ran down the hill um, and left me with yeah, 150 in. Um, so I hit an eight and uh, to be fair, I pretty 
hit a pretty good eight. Um, I think I just got my alignment slightly wrong um, on that, and that's what's caused the problem there. So uh, chip on, um, and then uh, a couple of putts, and that was a five there. Seventh hole, um, I two iron off the tee and lost it somewhere in this area. Um, I went back to the tee, hit another one uh, into here. So uh, I'm calling this a seven. Um, I didn't score any Stapleford points, as I say, it was a Stapleford event. Um, but basically, yeah, I've just yeah, said that uh, I hadn't scored. So um, these stats don't mean anything. Number eight, uh, par three, um, and uh, it's normally a pretty challenging one. Uh, none of the par threes at Sun City are, are, are short. Um, I think they're all you know, over 150 metres, so 165 yards for, for anyone else. Um, and hit a pretty good shot on this one, to be honest. Hit a, hit a good six iron, um, but just uh, landed in the bunker, you know, um, uh, a couple of couple of meters or even even a meter left um, and it would have been perfect but um, hit a good uh, sand shot out but then unfortunately missed the par putt so uh, ended up as another bogey uh, on to nine which is this one here um, didn't hit a particularly good tee shot um, it was a slicey drive um, and uh, left myself in behind uh, another tree, um, or certainly blocked out slightly, so got the best that I could on it with that 7 iron um, into this area here, and had something like 200, yeah, well, over 200 um, in east downhill, um, and it was uh, slightly with the wind, but yeah, hit a, hit a really good shot um, onto the green. Two putts, um, and well, the first one was pretty long, so it was a good two putt, to be honest, um, and yeah, quite happy with how we did there. Um, so yeah, good par. Um, and then on to 10. So 10, um, 10 is always, uh, always a tough hole and it's particularly tough if you start on the 10th. Um, uh, it's a tough opening hole. We've got water on the left, um, we've got bunkers all down the right and uh, because of that water on the left I really overcompensated and hit yeah, quite a Quite a bailout shot that ended up uh, yet and yet again behind another tree. Um, I had no options that, um, in fact, uh, other than playing backwards. Um, so just tried to get it back on the fairway and uh, and then gave myself a shot in. Hit a good forearm, but a wind not slightly knocked it um, uh, to to the side of the green. Uh, and then gap wedge uh, hit. Uh, to be fair, thinned a chip and uh, got very lucky uh, because it hit uh, one of my playing partner's balls and then stopped uh, a, probably about a metre from the cup and tapped that in, so regulation five, basically. Uh, on to 11, 11 stroking next two on the course. Hit a good drive, um, you know, good driver. It wasn't particularly long, but uh, all of these shots uh, were, were back into the wind again. Um, so I had uh, a long way out, uh, hit four iron, didn't really get it great, um, and uh, left myself uh, with a, an awkward chip shot over the bunker with a pin tucked in. Um, got too uh, cautious with it, landed it too far past the green and ended up past, but hit a nice uh, seven iron chip back, um, and then uh, a couple of putts. Uh, so it was a double there. Um, I did have two shots though, so it was still two points. Um, so on to 12, um, good drive, probably the best drive I hit all day, um, it was long, it was a nice big fade, um, you know, that kind of came over these rocks here, uh, and ended up up here, just kept running and running and running. Um, <coughs> a disappointing and, a, and a, an enjoyable um, hole uh, for, for, for a couple of reasons here, I was only 120-ish out. Um, this green is elevated, um, so I always always take one more anyway. So hit an eight iron, hit a great eight iron to be honest, but um, uh, it just um, just faded to the left. Or, or drew drew um, when uh, everything else was fading that day. So um, it was just off the side, um, horrible hanging lie, um, and everything running away from me. But hit a beautiful little seven seven iron chip that that was uh, again. Um, probably about a metre or so from the flag and, and tap that in for a par. So 
Um, yeah, positives, uh, I've hit the fairway um, and I've scrambled. Uh, negatives, again, it's really one where I should have been making uh, a greening regulation and as I carry on, you'll, you'll see that the greening reg stats really weren't that great. Uh, 13, which was actually our 18th, um, and, and I actually finished around feeling pretty good. Um, I, you know, I certainly improved as it went on. Um, hit uh, two iron. This was back into the wind. Normally, I'd hit four on this one. There's a there's a hazard in the way. The hole itself's not that long, but there's not really much to be gained by going for it with driver on this one. So, um, hit iron, uh, rolled down into this location. Um, hit a, what I thought was a pretty good eight. Um, but the wind just knocked it down and it ended up short. Um, a nice little seven iron chip again, which left me uh, maybe a, maybe a two meter, so a, you know a six foot putt, something like that, um, which I misread. Um, I read something in it that wasn't there, and uh, so I passed. But yeah, so it was a two putt and a, a five, uh, which as I say was the finish for me, um, although it was um, uh, the, only the thirteenth hole of the course. Uh, four amps, so this was actually the start of the round, um, par three, um, and uh, again, it was, it was into wind, hitting six, would, would probably be hitting six, seven into this normally. Um, hit, hit a pretty good shot, but it just knocked it down again. Um, left myself short, uh, but good gap wedge in, um, not, nice approach, um, uh, but yeah, they missed the putt, so bogey there. Um, Fifteen, right. Didn't like this one. 15, hit a drive left, which I hadn't done all week in any of the practice that I've done. Um, was up against uh, a big clump of rough, basically, um, and uh, I could barely barely get a, a club near it and, and done well just to, just to smash it a little while up. Uh, was still in the kind of sandy area to the side uh, in uh, a footprint. Uh, so I could barely see the back of the ball again. Um, so uh, did my best to advance that as much as I could. Um, then hit pretty good four iron uh, from this position. Um, but really now I, I, I knew I had to be hitting the green. Um, and I've left that one short um, and uh, then uh, had a chip and a couple of parts. So ended up being an eight there and no points obviously. Uh, 16, um, not one that suits the way I'm hitting the ball at the moment, certainly not. Um, it's, it's a drawing hole and, and everything's in fade, but I hit a good two iron off the tee there. It's very tight, that, that, that area there. So yeah, yeah, I hit a, hit a two iron for, for that. Um, just off the, just off the right. This is calling it a fairway, but it wasn't, it was just off. Uh, but then hit um, a lovely, um, lovely nine iron, uh, four iron from, from, from back there, um, which put me on the green. Uh, two putts, the first one was from a good 35 feet, so again, happy with that. Um, that, was, uh, that was a good one. Polar opposite of the hole before. Uh, 17th par three, um, one I always struggle with as well. Uh, great strike that I got on this one, but it actually caught the trees. It was fading uh, back towards the flag. Um, but just caught these trees and it dragged it down here. So I had an awkward chip um, uh, and uh, got that up and over, a pitch really. Um, and then uh, hold about a 20 foot or something like that, which was just as well it hit the back of the cup because otherwise it was going 10 foot past. Um, but that was a three uh, and a scramble. So, uh, and then 18, another disappointment on a par five. Um, really, really did not play this one well either. I had wind behind, tried to hit it a lot harder than I really needed to, um, and, and ended up in uh, the sandy area, which is called a barranca, um, uh, just down the left here. Horrible lie again, all I could do was get it out to, to this sort of position. Um, so I was playing, uh, playing three at this point, um, with 200 plus, into the green, uh, hit two iron, uh, didn't get enough loft on it and ended up in the water so I had to drop one, put that into the bunker, hit a lovely chip out of the bunker which spanned back all the way off the back off the front of the green and then 
had uh, a putt up from there and made that putt for a seven, but unfortunately did not score. Um, so that was the that was the round. Um, just quickly got the scorecard up there as well. So uh, yeah, out in 48, back in 47, total of 95. So yeah, positives I suppose from from that round. Uh, 23 over. Uh, daily handicap was 20, by the way. Um, only 43% of fairways. Uh, only 11% of greens. The that equated to five fairways and two greens, which really not good enough. Um, best part of the day, putts. Um, only uh, 30 putts, which is the lowest number of putts I've ever had. Um, so that that actually was was quite a good part of my game today. I was quite pleased with that. So. Um, yeah, all that considered, uh, could have played a lot better, but it's, you know, it, it, it's proving difficult just taking the, the good form from the range um, into into my game uh, on the course. Um, so uh, I hope to improve that um, over the next few weeks, um, very much so. I uh, hope you like the format. Um, if you do, please like and subscribe. Um, keep the con I'll keep the content coming regularly. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got some hopefully some pretty exciting uh, prospects um, for, for what I might do. Some videos coming up in the next few weeks, so um, I will keep you posted on those. And I'm also going to be releasing a video next week, which is just about my targets for the rest of this year. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually going to establish some of those and share them with you um, so that I'm uh, a little bit accountable for those as well. So thank you very much. Cheers.